Culture and Heritage has formulated a draft national language policy. The draft is in the process of being forwarded to Cabinet for approval. This policy was informed by views from the technical, a technical committee that compromised, uh, that comprised, sorry, uh, all relevant government agencies and stakeholders who gathered views during public participation exercises uh, that we held. The policy, uh, honorable chair, honorable members, has taken into consideration the constitutional provisions on ethnic diversity and multilingualism, and the fact that Kenya has a rich and diverse culture with communities speaking a whole range of languages and numerous dialects. The policy aims at the promotion and development of indigenous languages, revitalization of languages facing extinction, and the protection and preservation of Kenyan languages to promote our national heritage, among others. The policy also takes cognizance of the fact that languages are critical in propagating cultural values and cultural identity. Thus, the extinction of a language translates to the loss of cultural heritage. Further, the policy aims at safeguarding the freedom of expression, as stated in the Bill of Rights in the Constitution. In so doing, protects and appreciates our linguistic diversity, including indigenous languages, the Kenya Sign Language, Braille, and other communication formats and technologies accessible to persons with disabilities. Honorable Chair, the policy recognizes other le legislative frameworks related to language promotion, such as the UNESCO conventions, uh, the AU and ESC uh, policies um, and frameworks, Pan-African forums, among many others. The policy envisions that the promotion and protection of languages can be achieved if communities and other stakeholders are included in the process. It's worth noting, um, Mr. Chairman, that indigenous languages are mainly spoken in rural settings, and it's in this regard that the policy recognizes the important role of county governments as major players to the implementation of that policy. The objective of the policy um, will be implemented through policy statements, such as the promotion of Kiswahili as a national and official language of Kenya, utilization of languages as a means of trans meeting culture and cultural identity through cultural festivals, literature, and so on, leveraging on information communication technology to promote the languages of our country. On indigenous languages, the policy aims to put in place measures to promote and foster the full recognition and equitable use of indigenous languages of Kenya, put in place affirmative action programs to ensure minorities and marginalized groups <coughs> develop their own languages, collaborate with county governments in promoting indigenous languages, and work with partners and other stakeholders to document languages facing extinction. Despite uh, this development, there are multiple challenges that need to be addressed, which include the loss of cultural knowledge, negative attitude to indigenous languages, inadequate resources for language development, and dynamism in urban language development. In addition to all this, the Ministry on the Boche is implementing um, programs to bolster community efforts in the protection of indigenous languages. We're documenting oral traditions of the Ma community in Kajiado County. This was done in collaboration with the University of Nairobi, and the report is available at the Ministry. We're implementing the 2003 UNESCO Convention on Safeguarding of the Intangible Cultural Heritage, where language, a vehicle of transmitting culture, is a key component of safeguarding measures. Other than giving identity to those elements, it is one of the vehicles of transmitting, um, of transmitting the element as an oral expression, thus keeping it viable. Celebration of community festivals and cultural exhibitions. Examples include the Uraget Cultural Festival in Tarakanithi, Loyangalani Festivals in Marsabit, and Rusinga Festival in Homa Bay, all of which we continue uh, to organize, support, and attend. <coughs> Creating synergies with, with institutions that promote African languages, such as the Bible Translation Society, the Ministry of Education, and the African Union, among others. As an African Union member state, we participate in the activities of the African, Lang African Academy of Languages and have been involved in the formulation of policies and strategies to preserve and promote indigenous African languages. Honorable Chair stated earlier, Kenya is a multilingual state with over 43 spoken languages, and as the State Department for Culture and Heritage, 
we propose to use language as a tool to foster our national unity, our cohesion, sustainable development, promote and preserve all indigenous languages. We appreciate and commend the Ministry of Education in its endeavor to promote indigenous languages through teaching at the basic level. Um, however, while we collaborate with the Ministry of Education on general matters of language, curriculum development for teaching in schools remains the responsibility of KICD, which is part of the Ministry of Education. Therefore, the criteria used to determine the communities whose languages are currently being preserved from extinction are taught and are taught in schools uh, can be uh, dealt with uh, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education. And therefore, I will uh, be having uh, consultations with uh, the professor, Professor Magoha, uh, to see how we can continue to address this uh, together. Um, yeah, Honourable Chair, on uh, curriculum again, um, we can work in collaboration with the Ministry of Education, but it actually falls fully under the purview of the Ministry of Education, uh, which uh, is charged with uh, developing our curriculum. We have given them uh, some of our uh, input, and we are working together to make sure uh, that the preservation of the additional languages uh, is taken care of. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Very well. Uh, I don't know whether I'll give members. I hope you've been following to that uh, presentation. All I give to the honourable member, maybe say something, uh, react to it. Yeah, thank you, Chair. <coughs> uh, first of all, Chair, I want to um, say that the first time I raised this question, Chair, uh, I actually addressed it to the um, uh, State Department for Education. But in uh, Parliament's wisdom, uh, 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 at the floor of the house when I was asking the question, I realized that they had actually redirected uh, it to the uh, State Department for Culture. And I think it's for good reason, because these two uh, 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 ministries need to deal with this uh, matter conclusively. And then uh, maybe in the process, we will then avoid the ping pong. Uh, uh, oh, it's not me, it is, it is not me. So I think Having said that, right from the very beginning, it would be important for us to um, uh, get it that, uh, yes, we need answers from the implementer. But then the implementer is not working in, in, in isolation. Uh, my imagination would be that uh, the implementer does not even know how many languages, uh, indigenous uh, community languages, exist in this country. For example, I, I, I am also concerned, Chair, that... Uh, the, 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 the CS has just talked about 43 languages, which is the, 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 precisely where the problem is. Because, Chair, this, this, the, 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 the colonial um, uh, inheritance that this country uh, took over from, naming of communities was done from Mombasa moving towards up country. And the colonial uh, uh, government, I think, reached number 42 and left it there. And since independence, this, the successive governments in independence have not bothered to find out how many other uh, uh, languages are there, how many other communities exist in this country. I don't know if the CS is aware that actually we have over 79 communities that have been mapped by a directorate in the office of the deputy president that has d done a comprehensive mapping of all indigenous community languages that are spoken in this country. And 79 versus 43 that we continuously get told is precisely where the problem is. And it, this cannot be the Ministry of uh, Education uh, uh, Chair. This must be the Ministry of Culture, in my view. First of all, it's to know uh, where they are, how many they are, and then what steps are you doing? And then you pass on this to the Ministry of Education so that then both of you are able to give us a solution. And uh, secondly, Chair, um, I've just seen uh, uh, in, in the response that uh, public participation was done. Uh, Chair, to, to be helpful to know exactly where this was done because we have... Uh, Unfortunately, a culture in this country that whenever uh, minority communities are spoken of, uh, people will rush to the Ma community and then they assume they have sorted the issues of minorities. Because the, 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 same, the same places we are being told, like now Ma community, which is good, 
and then uh, um, the other one is which one? Three of them. And it's uh, traditionally that is where everybody goes. What, what, what happens to the other small communities that, uh, God forbid, there are probably only 300 uh, in total, you know, in, in their total existence. So, Chair, that would be a, a, a cause for concern, which I would also invite the CS to address herself on. And then there's the issue of sustainability, just teaching uh, uh, or developing a curriculum uh, that may not necessarily help preserve the languages. What other measures are there? For example, do we have uh, any commitment to uh, maybe using radio like has right. been in the past? Right. Is there any other way of uh, 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 saving content? First of all, it needs to be developed. The people who actually know this in are old people now, probably the in, on their verge of extinction. Assuming that that is uh, still on. It's not on. It's not on. All right. So I take some water. But you are not sick. You are not sick. 